Hey, you're back with Mrs. Mays. We're still working on equilibrium, and this time we're going to look at problems involving pressure, or KP problems. So when we have a problem involving pressure, we're going to approach it the same way as any other equilibrium problem. We use the value of KP to decide how to choose X. So if I have a reaction where dinitrogen tetroxide turns into two molecules of nitrogen dioxide, then I need to see what is the value of Kp. So if Kp is 0.131, then this is what we call sort of mid-range. It's neither high nor low. And so to find the equilibrium pressures of a flask that contains one atmosphere of N2O4, what do we do? Well, we're going to use the solver because we have a mid-range Kp. Let's see how that works. Okay, our first step is to set up the rice table. So we need our reaction, our initial conditions, and then we'll evaluate the change. So the reaction is N2O4 becomes 2 moles of NO2. And initially I had one atmosphere of N2O4 and no product yet. That's my initial conditions. As I change, I lose some of my reactants, and at the same time, I gain twice as much moles of my products because of my stoichiometry being 1 to 2. So the equilibrium value will be 1 minus x here and 2x for my product. So if Kp is equal to products over reactants, then, whoops, not brackets, because I have equilibrium values. So it's the pressure of NO2 squared over the pressure of N2O4, not squared. So now I'm going to put in my equilibrium values. NO2 is 2x, that one gets squared, and then NO2 is 1 minus x, and that must be equal to my Kp 0 0.131 atmospheres. And you notice I have a minus x, so you might consider doing the small x assumption, but remember with a mid-range value for Kp, that's not an option for us. So I'm going to rearrange by multiplying this across, so multiply both sides by 1 minus x, and then subtract minus 2x squared over so that I have 0 on one side of the equation. Now I can put it into my quadratic equation solver. So let's get the calculator. And mine is math B. Yours might be math 0 if you have an 83. All right, clear out the equation that was in there before, and we're going to type it exactly as it is. So, 0.131 parentheses 1 minus x, close parentheses, minus 2, oops, quantity 2, right? I mistyped that earlier when I wrote it on the other side. The 2x is all squared, not just the x. And then that's set equal to 0. And for x, let's just pick, I don't know, 0.1. And then hit alpha solve, not just solve, but alpha solve. So I get 0.16533, blah, 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 blah. So x is 0.165 atmospheres of pressure. And this is what I was talking about. This quantity is that the whole thing is squared. So don't, don't leave out those parentheses. Now let's answer the question. What is the equilibrium pressure? What are the equilibrium pressures in our flask? So at equilibrium, we will have for N2O4, 1 minus X. So let's get the calculator back. And we just quit out of here and do 1 minus x. 
0.8345. That's in atmospheres. And then the pressure of NO2 is 2 times x, or 2 times 0.165. So that would be 0 0.330 atmospheres. There's our equilibrium pressures, and we solved a KP problem with a mid-range. Um, we solved an equilibrium problem with a mid-range value for a KP.